I've been testing Recall for the past month, and honestly, it's one of those tools that sounds too good to be true until you actually use it. Everyone's talking about building a second brain, but most knowledge management tools just become digital hoarding. Recall is different. Here's what it actually is. An AI-powered knowledge base that doesn't just store your content, it actively makes it useful. You can throw YouTube videos, PDFs, articles at it, and it'll summarize everything while automatically linking related concepts you've saved before. The core feature that got me hooked is the automatic knowledge graph. Every time you save something, Recall extracts keywords and connects them to your existing content. I was reading about productivity habits and Recall surfaced a connection to a startup interview I'd saved months ago, both discussing similar psychological principles. That's the kind of insight you'd normally miss completely. Now here's where it gets interesting, the augmented browsing feature. As you browse the web, Recall automatically detects what you're reading and shows related content from your personal knowledge base. It's like having a research assistant that actually remembers everything you've saved. The pricing is straightforward. Free tier gives you 10 summaries per month plus unlimited storage. Seven bucks monthly gets you unlimited summaries, augmented browsing, automatic categorization, and AI quiz generation. Let's be real though, there's a catch. The free tier is quite limited. And once you start using it seriously, you'll hit those 10 summaries fast. Most users love the knowledge connections, but the biggest complaint is the learning curve. The interface takes some getting used to. Here's my honest take. If you consume a lot of content, but struggle to retain and connect ideas, Recall is genuinely game-changing. It's not just another note-taking app, it's actively helping you think better by surfacing forgotten connections. The spaced repetition quizzes are solid too. You can generate questions from any content you save, perfect for students or anyone trying to actually remember what they read instead of just bookmarking it forever. Bottom line, Recall works best for people who read extensively and want their knowledge to compound over time. If you're just looking for simple note-taking, stick with Notion. But if you want your research to actually connect and resurface when it matters, the $7 monthly investment pays for itself. If this helped you out, hit like and subscribe. I break down the latest and most talked about tools every week across finance, marketing, software, design, basically any niche you care about. Check out the newest review here or hit the playlist if you're still comparing. But hey, what's your take? Is this one a win or would you pass? Drop a comment. I'm always curious what real users think.